for hours. Our day. Back on line with the Orange Future. Just leaving. Not the wee campsite here. Just off the ferry, actually. In Armadale and the Isle of Skye. Treacherous, can set up this. My little friends in here. Bye bye! This little Heinrich, kind of a otter loving type dude. Today, Grumpy George. It's twenty two degrees. So I've just got just arrived onto the Isle of Skye last night. Camped up there for the night, lovely place. Oh, look at that view, that view would waking you up. First thing in the morning, woo! So the plan for today is to really ride up, try and see as much sky as, as I can see really. Uh, maybe get up to the west part of it, up the top and then Turn around and come back, go past the old man of store. I think that's what you call it. Um, and then tonight I have my BB booked in Port Tree, so I have a destination to go to, which is quite good after doing a bit of camping and putting the old tent up. It's nice to have a destination and a knowing you're going to have somewhere to go. But look at that, that's great. Do your heart good. I don't know if the ferry people have. Off, off the other nest, but it's just a good bit of road here now. Why are you doing a bit of strimming? But Norma, have you out? Norma, have you out at half nine in the morning strimming? <laughs> Rodford. Portray Dunvegan. I seen Dunvegan in that. It's Dunvegan I want to go to. Holy fuck! There's some spas on the road in there. See no real Aiden houses yet either. I think that road over there is what I'm going to be going up and through. Ha ha. In the distance over there, that ridge. That's the campsite I always wanted to stay in there. I've never got to Sligashan. Just Vegan uh, Vegan Castle. Then Vegan, it's telling me to go left here. Done vegan. I think it'll go this way anyway. Just a wee bit up the road here from where they turned off the Talisker distillery or Sligishan. This is where I should have camped last night. Look at this. Uh, this 
here's the spot. I know that for again. So he's even made me a wee stone circle and everything to put my fire in there. Here you'd never think you're on Oma here. Got the wind turbines and all. Surface, road surface in these great. Still on my way to Dunbegan. <coughs> I was tempted to call into the Talisker distillery there, but I'm really into whiskey, so that's the point. I should take advantage of these kind of half empty roads. Oh, uh, oh, 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 yeah. Coming into Dunvegan, still no eating houses. So, that was good, nice bit of breakfast in there, a cup of tea, it's just coming up to 12 o'clock. I had to take a wee look out here to this uh, Dunvegan castle. Oh, God. We're near lost the breakfast there. The state of this, there's Mary and Joseph out for the out for the cycle, parked up the camper vans and took the, the packable bikes out for a spin. Fucking hell. Vegan, 300 meters. Must be just in here. Under the open for business. Tickets? What? Seal traps. Gardens only. Mm. Oh god. It's just that reverse view of the coming back from that clagging. A little boat trip out there. Never see sky like this. Twenty two degrees. Onwards. Onwards, Brars. So where's the orange feature off to now, you may ask? Well, we're in the wee top left corner of the sky now, so the next mission is to go to Uig. And I've been to Uig before, it was a nice little town. Look up around, do a little loop up around the top edge of the sky and then for the afternoon, that'll bring me nicely to the tree. Right. Orange feature. On tour. Just had to come down here to this wee spot. This is just out of Glendale. To go your road and then it's off to the right. Just find myself a wee spot to sit down here. Whole beach to myself. Sort of volcanic y kind of beach. So peaceful. Isn't that great?
little bit of off-roading here. Where's the 640 when you need it? Still in the big Lendale area, but I don't know, just, just following tracks at the minute. <laughs> That now is just shit the bed all the yard. There's no husking on. A bit of a mast up here. to avoid the tourists, eh? I found the 640, go up a bank there. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Oh, we rode up to the mast. Look at that high, 827 feet. Not that bad. There's no idea where I am. Right. That bay I was down at before, somewhere over there, looking out at that. <laughs> Lethal. There's a sweet place called Milo Vig. That's the other side of. There's that tower that I was up over there, and then that's the other side of the V. It's just the other side of that wee bay. These old sheep just aren't as scared as the sparrows sheep. Oh, aye, lovely wee place. Milo Vig. So hopefully you can see there's not a big pile happening up around these parts. Huh. Um, and I don't know where I'm going. Every corner you go around. This is called Neist Point, N E I S T. Must look at the map, see where this is, but <sighs> unbelievable. Anyway, this is going to be the end of the road up here, I think. We'll follow it up anyway. Maybe some of these disciples up here have our maps, here I am, because my map is C8. There we go. 
for hours. Four, three. Been here twice before. Twice it's been raining. Third time lucky, eh? So, I haven't got to my B&B yet, because I want to go up. I'm heading towards Staffan on the A855, but it'll take me past Old Man's store, and as I remember, it's pretty damn nice. So I'm going to do a wee run up here, up past the mountain. I guess, what does it say there, 16 mile? It's a 16 odd mile up to Staffan now. The store isn't that high up, so I'm going to go up, turn, and come back. That'll take me too long. And uh, it should be a good old run up. Right, we're getting closer to her now. Woo! This takes me down to Staffan Beach. Who'd have thought it, eh? My fucking puller in, lad. Dick. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this. People under it now. What? Slip way down there. This is great. This is the type of thing. You get when you have a wee bit more time, you have a bit of time to do a wee bit of exploring, then you end up in a place like this. Isn't it great? Watch out for the sheep. There's people camping there. It'd be a good spot actually to camp. Then I've just realised too, my, my b, b isn't in bloody Portree, it's in Broadford, which is it's not too bad, it's just further on than Portree, so it's going completely the opposite direction. Anyway, the big odds. It's only half an hour extra or something from Portree. And there's plenty of time in hands today. It's your last day it didn't get dark there. 20 past 11. So, just got some nice fish and chips. Portree. And my B and B is showing us ten miles away, but I just sort of throw the camera on to show you this here scenery as well. Give you a little run away in. It's beautiful here now. And I got me two magners welded into my bike some road or nowhere here. Still getting making my way to the B and B. See the Highland cow back there with the big horns. Half six in the evening. Twenty-five 
20 degrees in the middle of Skay. On my bike, two chill ciders on the bike. Not too bad, is it really? Oh, simple pleasures. Out of three mile, they have to do here. I guess B&B is going to be in the middle of nowhere. Half a mile left, point four. Some spot. Now, this B&B is a friend friend of mine's parents who moved from Kent the whole way up here. Some shock to system. Look at this, little lethal. Ha ha ha. Two days here. Past the farm. Bit here, eh? Hey, this is it. Go up here and turn. That's a steep hill. Woo! That is a steep hill. <laughs> 